Probably one of the biggest problems with EVs right now is the long charging times, but with the release of the V3 supercharger, all that might be changing soon. On Thursday night, Tesla opened their first V3 supercharger for beta testing in the Bay Area, and it is a massive improvement on the previous version. Version 2 had an output of just 125 kilowatts, and this new version 3 doubles that to 250 kilowatts. This allows charging up to 1,000 miles per hour. Yes, 1,000. According to Tesla's blog post, this means that the Model 3 long range can get 75 miles of range in just 5 minutes. Tesla said they were able to achieve this by not only increasing the power output in V3, but also adding the ability for cars to precondition their batteries for optimal charging rates. What this means is that your Tesla will preheat the battery to ensure it can accept the maximum charging rate when it arrives at the supercharger. The last major update I saw was to the power cabinet. In V2, power output could be less per charger if two vehicles were connected at adjacent stations. Now in V3, due to the upgraded electronics, each supercharger will be able to operate it at its maximum rate of 250 kilowatts, so that is no longer an issue. For now, Tesla is only launching V3 to work with the Model 3 because there are so many on the road right now, but the Model S and X are getting software updates in the coming months to improve charging times as well. Elon mentioned in a tweet that even the original 2012 Model S will see improvements with V3. Whether or not the older vehicles will be able to handle that higher power output isn't known, but I'm sure it will vary by how new the vehicle is. Tesla announced that V2 superchargers currently installed will also increase their power output to 145 kilowatts, up from the current 125 kilowatt output. I think the biggest news here has got to be this 1,000 mile per hour charge rate, which is just insane. The most common argument I hear when someone says they don't want an electric car is that they take road trips and they don't want to wait an hour to charge on their route. And with this faster charge rate, that argument starts to lose its strength. The only problem is that many cars on the road simply can't handle this higher power output. Some upcoming cars, like the Porsche Taycan, are supposed to handle up to 350 kilowatts, which would allow for some really fast charging times, similar to Tesla. So with this big jump in version 3, version 4 is going to be insane. By that point, I'm predicting that stopping the charge will be just as fast, if not faster, than stopping at a gas station, but only time will tell. So thanks for watching guys, I want to hear what you think of supercharging V3. Do you think it is as big a deal as I think it is or not? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. And as always, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you get my EV videos in your sub box every week. So I will see you in the next video.